Hello everyone. Here we are going to uh, create a small uh, um, uh, VBA code to understand what is meant by that Excel AM file and uh, how to create this Excel AM file and also how to create it as a password protected so that we can share it to others. Okay, so it's, uh, I'm going to use a very simple demo to understand this concept. So the coding may be, you know, uh, may not be so much important but uh, the, the concept of how to create an Excel AM and uh, how to create it uh, password protected and then share it. So that is uh, the, the core idea of this uh, video. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open uh, the Microsoft uh, Excel. Okay. So the Microsoft Excel is here and I can use Alt F11. Otherwise I can you go to uh, Developers tab and you can, I can use Visual Basic. You can see F11. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, for this VB code, uh, let's say I have a two mark column, marks column, mark one, mark two. Okay, so let's say I have some data. It's a, very, it's a demo okay so let's say this is a column I have and I want to uh, have the additional of uh, addition of two numbers in the sheet two column here I want to display the addition so I want to write a code okay so let us go to the uh, visual basic editor Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, this section Visual Basic. This is, a, this is my application. So I'm going to insert a module. The module is going to have the the macros. Okay. So also I'm going to use a uh, user form. And in the user form, I'm going to give a simple demo application. Okay, so I'm just uh, giving the caption as close me, and I'm going to write a code called unload me. So hope you are aware of the the visual basic coding. Okay, so. In the model, I'm going to call this user form. I'm going to show this visual form. So in the model, model is the one where you know uh, the macros is going to get called. Okay. Uh, so this uh, VBA is uh, is going to be the protected Excel AM file. Okay. So I'm just going to do one by step by step. Okay. I'm just going to create a, some a procedure, a macro procedure. Uh, let's uh, let's give the name as a protected. Code. So this is a function, this is a procedure name and I'm going to call the user form 1 here dot show. Okay. So now what I will do is I will go to the uh, Excel page and I will run the macros. So now I got that. So now if I click close me, it will uh, in, uh, invoke the unload me function. So it's closed. So it works fine. So now let us uh, write a simple code uh, in the in the user form. Create a, another button. Addition. Okay, and I'm going to copy this uh, code. See, the purpose of this video is not uh, to actually tell you how, what is meant by Visual Basic coding. Purpose is to create how to create Excel AM file. So, to explain this uh, simple coding, I have created a declared a worksheet, and I have said that okay, uh, this worksheet is going to use the sheet one. And in this uh, sheet one, uh, add the 
the second row first column and second row second column and put it in an integer and uh, use another worksheet which is called uh, sheet 2 in the same workbook and uh, in the first row first column uh, give a label called outlook output and uh, in the first row second column give that output the additional output okay so now let's close this and then now try to execute it so i'm ho i'm expecting that you know sheet 2 it, it should have that output of this addition okay so let's try to run this uh, addition uh, i've done it so i'm just closing it so now i see that 49 79 so so uh, the coding code works fine okay so with this confident i'm going to uh, you know uh, create a excel am file and also i'm going to make it as a password protector okay so the macro name is protected code just copy that okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to save this project as excel am file and before that i'm going to give a project name or as protected code okay i'm just using the same macros for uh, simplicity and i'm going to use uh, the password i'm going to lock this uh, code so that no one can view this code okay let's uh, let us give the simple password whatever you like okay so now i have given the password so what i'm going to do is i'm going to save it just select this and click save now it will ask you with whether you want to save it as excel no we i don't want to save it so what i will do is uh, i'm going to save it as uh, excel am file okay So let's save as Excel AM file. Okay, this is Excel add-in. Okay, I'm going to save it as password protected. So protected code dot Excel AM file. So let us save it. Okay, now the the code is protected now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say close and. Uh, and I'm going to say I'm going to close the Excel as well I don't want to save it I'm going to say no okay so now I have uh, an file called protected code dot xlm file so which is a password protected Okay, now I am supposed to create another XLM file so that that file is going to call this protected code dot XLM file so that if I forward, if I share that XLM file and also the, uh, the, the new one that I created, I can ensure that this uh, code is uh, completely protected and no one can view this VBA code. Okay, so let us go and open uh, an, another Excel file okay i have opened it so i'm go going to uh, the visual basic editor okay so here this is a new new one so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to uh, insert a new model here and i'm going to call that excel name file which has the macro which is a password product so i'm just going to call uh, so the main uh, Excel AM and uh, here we have the code this is the syntax hope you are aware of that uh, VBA code application.run 
okay so what what are what we are doing is i'm calling that xlm file okay here okay that xlm file and also i'm going to call the function which is there model one and uh, i think the macro function is also uh, product report okay so to do that uh, let us try to do the give the reference of this particular xlm file for this new uh, project so go to the tools reference and browse and i think we have to go to the videos where we have kept so i think i have, I have pasted here and let me select uh, either you can select all files or xlam and i have see and i'm seeing this product code so just open that and now you will see that there is a reference added and say okay and now you will see that it is a reference to xlam file so now if i call this uh, model which has the main xlam function it will actually automatically call this xlam file which is actually a protected password protected file and uh, it calls the model and the macros inside it protected code so thereby i'm i'm going to secure this uh, xlam file even i'm i can share this file without actually sharing the code so what i'm going to do is i am not going to uh, uh, protect this uh, uh, project as well with the password i'm going to just leave it and i'm just going to save this and i'm going to distribute this file i'm going to save this as an xlam file as simple as that so let me do that so i'm just going to save uh, uh, before saving you know let us try to see how it is working so just close it and uh, use the same function let's say 10 20 and i'm going to call the macros main xlam i'm going to run it see it is able to identify that original xlam file and is able to still pull that data so i'm going to add it close it now i'll see that there's an output so it works fine okay so let me go to the visual basic editor and i'm going to save this project in the same same location as an another add-in um, i'm going to say i'm going to give a give a give a different name let's say main code dot xlam so let me save that okay and if you see that you know if i just expand this the the original one protected code it will ask it will ask for password and this one i'm going to distribute it so once i close it and reopen it it will say uh, main underscore code dot xlam file so now what i can do is i can just simply close and also i can close it i don't need to save this excel file anymore it will ask for uh, it will ask whether you know you want to close it so uh, so just if you close it it will ask whether you want to save this excel no i don't want to save it okay so now uh, the benefit is you know i have uh, two excel files uh, one is the uh, corrected code dot xlam and also there is a two the second there is a second file called the main code.xlam so this is a password protected and uh, this is not so i can i can forward these two files to anyone to use it okay so to how to use it in a, as an add in uh, let's go to the uh, microsoft excel and add this uh, xlam macros 
as a, as it is in, as in a toolbar or in a quick toolbar you know you can add it anywhere so just open the uh, microsoft excel now so what you have to do is just right click and go to the quick access toolbar go to the add-ins and uh, select go browse uh, fortunately it is already there in the same location so if i select this protected code i may not be able to view the add-in okay so i have to select the the main code dot xlim which is actually internally calling this protected code macros okay select this main code and say okay it says you want to uh, there's already if there is a message say yes to that okay now i am seeing that there is a main code selected i'm just going to say okay and i'm going to i want to add this in the quick toolbar okay so let's go to the same location again go to the quick access toolbar select the macros and you will see that main xlam file is already showing now this is the file name okay so now just add this here so that it will visible here okay if you want to change the the name and the icon just click on modify and you can use any any options addition you can just give say addition just a display name okay so just say okay and hit ok so now you see that there is an icon okay so here now if i try to do the demo okay 25 okay now if i click on this edit uh, this uh, icon now i am seeing that i am able to pull the xlim file click close me try it once again click addition click close me i am expecting the output as verify here okay so now hope you understand uh, what is meant by the xlim file and how to uh, create it as a password protector and also how to share that uh, xlim file to anyone uh, without you know uh, without actually explicitly showing uh, what is the code you have written thanks for watching